name is Jody Thibodeau I'm with Green Chain, and um, I've been in HR space most of my career um, in HDM technology for the last seven years specifically, um, consulting with companies on payroll, timekeeping, benefits administration, et cetera, um, on the Green Chase platform. So, Sean? Yeah, thanks, Jody. Hello, everyone. Yeah, my name is Sean Doherty. I'm the Senior Director of Business Development here at TapCheck. Uh, we're an earned wage access provider. Uh, been with TapCheck about three years. Also have a background in payroll HCM and really looking forward to sharing some valuable insights today on the, the great partnership we have with Green Shades and sharing value on um, how earned wage access can be a, a great benefit for your organizations. And then quickly today for the agenda, jo Jody's gonna kick things off, but I'll just kind of walk through this. We're gonna go through a green shades and a tap check portion, uh, just kind of discussing the, the changing landscape of um, just the, the, the organizations and, and everything that's in between right now. There are a lot, lot of changes post COVID and whatnot, and just discussing um, different topics around that, how we can craft a unique benefits package by uh, leveraging green shades and, and, and partners like tap check as well as financial empowerment and well-being. And that really is kind of the, the core of the uh, the tap check earn wage access uh, portion of this presentation. And then really just talking about collaboration and, and our organizations working together and how we can best uh, support you. So um, kicking things off with Green Shades, I'll hand it back to you, Jody. Thank you, Sean. So let's just talk first about the, the changing landscape. Um, what we know is in the past, the workplace was really a much more rigid situation. Um, you worked a set schedule, you, um, you know, most likely went into an office environment, you dressed a certain way, um, and you were really kind of um, focused on promoting yourself within your, your career. And then COVID happened. Um, so COVID has really changed the landscape um, of the workplace drastically. Companies were forced to adapt to a remote workforce to survive. Um, we began to employ effective collaboration tools like Zoom, Google Docs, Slack, so that we could effectively communicate. We became accustomed, actually, to that kind of communication. And so now it's really commonplace for you to have business meetings in someone's kitchen, in their home office. The dog may be barking in the background. The cat may walk across the screen. Um, but we've really become less tied to a physical location. Um, and so employees got a taste of working from home and having a little bit more work-life balance. And we really are um, resisting going back to the old way. They want a job not only that gives them a salary, but that also gives them flexibility that they want and more comfort. So if you look at some of the um, statistics on the bottom of this um, screen, in 2023, the turnover rate in the US is at 3.8%. 2.5% of that resulting from resignations and 1% from layoffs and terminations. So employees are having shorter tenures now than they did in the past. Individuals at the age of 55 to 64 on average have a tenure of 9.9 .9 years. Whereas people who are in the age group of 25 to 34 are averaging just 2.8 years. So the bottom line is that the work culture has really changing um, and it's creating challenges for us in attracting and retaining talent. So how do we attract and retain talent in a challenging employment environment? We need to be flexible, consider maybe remote work options, predictive scheduling, flexible PTO, um, job stability. With the current economic uncertainty, employees want to feel secure in their positions or in their jobs. Many employees may look to leave a job for more money or a better position. So if you offer growth um, and opportunity, that may reduce the, the employee wanting to explore and to leave. Um, relationships between managers <clears throat> are really how um, companies or employees kind of gauge the um, uh, workforce or the culture of their company, okay? And they're focused on working with companies that align with their vision. I mean, then everyone even wants more money, but employees actually consider benefit offerings just as much as they do wages. So the bottom line is that employees, employers need to understand um, what is going on in the market and address those so that employees feel heard and valued. So looking at create, um, crafting a unique benefit package. 
First, let's talk about some of the mandatory and common benefits um, and how actually software, um, your software partner can make sure that you're in compliance in this area, these areas. If you are um, more than 50 employees, then you are under the Affordable Care Act considered a um, applicable large employer or an ALE. You are required to provide all full-time employees and their dependents affordable options for health care coverage. Unemployment. Every state requires <clears throat> that um, employers do offer unemployment benefits that can vary from state to state on the specifics. Social Security and Medicare. These programs were designed to support retirees, disabled individuals and children. They're funded through FICA or the Federal Insurance Contributions Act. Um, <clears throat> and of course, this mandates that both employees and employers are, are contributing. FMLA. This type of benefit allows the employees to receive up to 12 weeks of unpaid medical leave um, a year while still maintaining their jobs and benefits. And of course, workers' comp. Um, if an employee experiences an injury or illness on the job, <clears throat> um, of course, we provide um, you know, uh, insurance and coverage for medical bills, et cetera. And this actually varies per state as well. And then there's disability coverage. Um, this is an offering um, for employees who suffer non-work related injuries and may be off of work. Um, and there's various options for employers um, to provide for this, as well as even choosing to self-insure. So some of the most common um, offerings um, here, in addition to those or the mandatory, is <clears throat> um, you know, paid time off, um, as well as additional health coverage, such as dental and vision. So why should we make a, a shift and start looking at more creative and innovative type of benefits? Really in order for us to attract and retain talent in a challenging employment market, we must get creative and differentiate, differentiate ourselves from other employers, stand out in the crowd. Um, so you consider the surveys, we've indicated that only 60% of employees are satisfied with their benefits. So we've got to adapt to the land uh, landscape as it changes. So we want to ensure that you and, and your provider, <clears throat> you know, give all the details and insight into benefits so that your employees understand them. Um, many employees don't understand the benefits, so they don't take advantage of them. You wanna be sure to communicate the uncommon benefits that you're offering. Put that language in your open enrollment, make sure that they explore them just as they do their common benefits. And then see what your employees want and need. Um, this may vary depending on your demographics and your organization. So ask the employees what's important to them. And you can see listed here some of the more in innovative type of benefits that companies are beginning to employ, including earned wage access, which Sean's going to talk about later. Technology plays an important role here, particularly as your workforce goes more remote. Um, technology allows you to engage with your employees and support their efforts in recruiting and retaining your workforce. So listen to your workforce, keep an eye on the trends that are going on. Use technology to communicate information, to inform and educate your employees during open enrollment um, so that they can optimize the, um, the selections. And then also they can update that information if they have life events, things come up. You'll want to utilize like bulletin boards and employees self-serve in your technology, um, <clears throat> as well as, um, you know, the bottom line here is continue to grow and modify your offerings as the market continues to change. And so let me go ahead and hand it off to Sean so he can talk about that earned wage access benefit. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jody. And um, yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, yeah, look, looking forward to sharing some really valuable insights on TapCheck's uh, earned wage access benefit offering, as Jody had alluded in the prior slide. I mean, offering competitive benefits can make such a positive impact in your organization's culture and just giving employees great resources that they they may not even know are available, right? But really, really having having things in place to stay competitive and um, really just giving employees what they need to help uh, get through during difficult financial times is where TapCheck specializes and, and Green Shades has been uh, generous in, in opening up their uh, you know API to allow us to connect to their system so we can 
seamlessly offer our earn wage access um, uh, solution to employers at, at no cost uh, and allow employees that freedom and flexibility to choose how and when they get paid. Uh, I think we all have recognized that over the years here in this kind of post-COVID world that you know wages are, are kind of stagnant, uh, inflation is still high, a lot of people are, are struggling uh, in that paycheck to paycheck kind of environment. And so uh, allowing them to gain access to the wages they've already earned and are, are legally owed uh, is a great way to drive more engagement at the employee level and help address a lot of business challenges that will ultimately contribute to a healthier, you know, bottom line. So, you know, as, as Jody had mentioned, I mean, having, you know, from an open enrollment perspective or even a new employee onboarding, uh, we have the ability to offer uh, tap check to our, our customers at, at no cost. And what we are is the highest precision earn wage access solution in the industry. And when I say highest precision, I mean, it's our, our deep integrations with with green shades as well as various you know POS and, and timekeeping solutions so that we can offer this um, at no cost to, to businesses and allow employees that flexibility to uh, help improve their overall financial wellness and 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 kind of choose how and when they get paid. I would say employees just sleep better at night knowing that um, if something happens and they can't make it to the next payday, they they have that option to transfer a portion of their earned wages and. You know, our organization and this industry, the earn wage access industry as a whole, has has grown tremendously over the last decade. And you can see some statistics of, of why, right? You've cut 61% of adults living paycheck to paycheck in this country. Uh, 36% have more credit card debt than emergency sa savings, which is a scary statistic. And 40% of consumers say it's just difficult to pay their, their monthly bills, right? And of course, inflation is, is contributing to this financial struggle. And unfortunately, given current interest rate trends and where we're at in the economy, it doesn't look like there's much end in sight there. And so this is a great resource that employers can provide to their employees to help alleviate some of that financial stress and keep employees focused on their task at hand, their work, and not constantly worried about how they're going to pay their bills. Um, and you see, like, I don't see traditional pay cycles going away, right? It's either the traditional weekly, semi-monthly, bi-weekly. But from the employee's perspective, when they're faced with a financial hardship, there's not a lot of options available to them, right? So in this example, you've got Ted, this employee, he's currently living paycheck to paycheck, his rent and utility bills due this week. However, payday is still another week out, right? So what, what does Ted do? He doesn't have really any options. So goes to a payday lender that charges these absurdly high predatory interest rates just to cover his basic expenses that are, that are due uh, this week. Uh, unable to pay them back due to a, a very high APR, he defaults on that loan and now is at risk and kind of remaining in that never ending cycle of high interest debt. And you can see here for payday loans, I mean, again, very predatory. You've got 12 million people, uh, you know, almost 8% of the workforce that are resorting to, to payday loans every year. Uh, the average interest rate is 391%. So, I mean, if you tried to open a credit card with a 390% interest, 391% interest rate, I think everyone would de would decline that immediately, right? Seventy percent of borrowers are just using these payday loans to cover basic expenses like putting food on the table, paying their rent or utility bills on time. And one in five, twenty percent of, of borrowers actually default on these, and it's just again taking that cycle of debt and just you know continuing, right? So what happens, right? There, there, those those fees it turns into more and more debt for them. Maybe going to collections, negative impact on their credit score, potential you know, legal action, um, and just, uh, you know, a lot of financial stress, which we all know can really take a toll on mental health and certainly contribute to uh, a poor employee performance at work, right? So this is why TapCheck's Earn Wage Access Solution is just such a better alternative to uh, a lot of the predatory lending practices out there, right? So this is a simple payroll deduction that connects with green shades as employees clock in and clock out of shifts at, at the end of each day. They accumulate more and more of their net available wages that will be available to them. So they can log into their app or web browser at any time and see how many, how, what percentage of their funds is available to them each day and go ahead and just transfer that directly to themselves. Um, so this is certainly increasing the financial stability and wellness by helping them just stay current on their bills and avoiding high interest debt. Uh, you know, those overdraft, you know, non sufficient fund fees that, you know, the big banks charge, right? All those late fees or borrowing from friends or, or going to their employer and asking for a payday event, which I'm sure that's happened to some people on this call. I hear that story time and time again, but that's a huge administrative burden and hard to track. And that's exactly where TapCheck can, can come in and alleviate that uh, administrative burden. So 
Uh, what, how, how we're able to do this, right? So it's, it's on demand every single day based on completed shift data. Uh, we allow employees to grab up to 70% of their net paycheck. The max daily withdrawal limit is $200 of their net pay each day. Um, and it is available 24 seven, 365, uh, and it'll be live in their account within seconds if they're using the instant option and employees do pay a small fee to gain access to their wages early. However, if you look at the alternatives, uh, it's, it's an incredible resource and less than an out of network ATM fee. And they can have up to $200 in their account live immediately. And just some quick customer highlights here. You can see, uh, Susan M saying, yeah, living on a biweekly paycheck, it's hard to manage sometimes because her husband's paid monthly, right? And tap check is set up so you can get part of your earnings when you need it. And it's been a lifesaver for us more than once. And we're able to get those funds uh, when, when they needed it. Right. And then Leslie P down there and just, again, so easy to use, right. They very small transfer fee for a same day transfer. Uh, you get the hours that you work right away. Uh, she's paying the you know, very next day. That's if you're using the next day option, but we do have that instant option as well. And she loves it. It's just that it's just that freedom and flexibility. Most employees do not use this. Maybe they use it once or twice a month. Right. Um, cause they do have to pay a small fee each time they use it but we have that high net available balance for them. And we certainly wanna make sure that they use this as just a financial lifeline to make sure they're not falling too far behind on other bills. And this pay cycle hurts employers too, right? I mean, we, we uh, Jody had mentioned, you know, difficulties in, in turnover, uh, lack of tenure with uh, the, the younger generation here. And I don't see that trend changing anytime soon. Uh, as a hiring manager, I've gone through that, plenty of that myself. And it creates uh, a lot of financial stress on the business, which then contributes to uh, a not so healthy bottom line, right? Higher rates of absenteeism, distractions at work, right? If all you're doing is thinking about how you're going to pay your bills that day, um, you're not putting your best foot forward on, on your actual job. And then even turnover. A lot of employees are looking for higher pay. Uh, maybe they're leaving traditional work to do gig economy jobs. And keep in mind, Uber, Lyft, you know, Amazon, all these, these gig economy companies all have their own earned wage access solution that they're offering. Uh, and I, I travel a lot for work. I'm, every time I'm in an Uber and a Lyft, I ask the drivers, I'm like, hey, how often are you guys using this? And like, you may not use it every week, but I guess they get paid every Tuesday at, at Uber and Lyft and that people like the option to cash out right away. And so if you have bills due that day and you don't get paid until next Friday, people might skip a shift and go drive Uber all day so they can cash out their wages right away. So it keeps your employees happy. It keeps them from you know deviating to those gig economy jobs. and ultimately contributes to a healthier bottom line. And uh, this is just some general you know, uh, statistics on from em employee surveys, but employees want more financial control, right? And you can see 76% say it's important for their employer to offer this, to stay competitive, because a lot of people are. And you can see 89% said they would work longer for a company that offers this, and nearly 80% said they'd actually switch. So when I first joined this organization about three years ago, uh, it was definitely a different landscape and employers were a little bit more reluctant to offer this. And now when we meet with clients, whether it's in person or at trade shows or doing virtual demos, I mean, the general consensus is like, yeah, put this off too long. I mean, my competitors are doing it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great value add and employees love it. So we, we just need to move forward. So it's definitely becoming more of a, uh, a need than a want. So just to how we differentiate uh, quickly here, I mean, it's our own proprietary algorithm as it relates to our integrations into to green shades, as well as you know various POS and timekeeping solutions. As mentioned, it's all completed shift data. So it's 100% accurate down to the cent. We fund everything on the employer's behalf. So there's no impact to your cash flow. It's a simple payroll-based recovery. Essentially, when you fund your payroll, anything we advance on your behalf, dollar for dollar, you transfer back to us when you fund your payroll. Uh, we offer a free pay card. It is compatible with all pay cards, though, so it's completely agnostic, uh, completely free for employers, uh, no, no setup fees, no monthly costs or anything like that, integrated with, uh, with green shades as well as other time and attendance and POS solutions. Um, so, yeah, no, no cash flow impact, as mentioned. And for employees, you can sign up within a matter of minutes. No credit check. It's available 24-7 in the app or the web browser. Fees are low, and uh, if they're using our... MasterCard, PayCard, they can do free ATM withdrawals at over 35,000 ATMs nationwide via the MoneyPass network. And we do offer, in addition to uh, the earned wage access, uh, and, you know, kind of as Jody was mentioning, offering a great you know, benefits package for your employees, a free financial education and literacy LMS that's geared towards exactly that. So it's videos and articles about improving your credit score, budgeting, getting out of debt, kind of getting out of those cycles. So another, another great resource that you can offer your employees. So, um, you know, obviously, integrated directly into to green shades payroll you can see some other 
very familiar names in time and attendance over there if you happen to use a, a third-party timekeeping solution. But um, our integrations are, are seamless. It makes this benefit completely hands-off for the employer. And um, yeah, uh, the feedback we hear often from our customers is like, it's literally running in the background. It's invincible. I don't have to do anything, which is the best feedback we can hear because we certainly don't want to have any administrative burdens for our customers. So uh, right. I'll hand it back over to, uh, to you here, Jody, and then we can open it up for Q&A. Yeah, you know, Greenshades is a best of class HCM technology that manages everything related to your employees from hire to retire. But not only do we provide the automation, the efficiency, the compliance, but we want to provide you information and resources like TapCheck so that you can grow, retain, attract people. Um, and so really what we want to share with you kind of closing things up is that make sure that you're understanding the workforce. Um, you know, what do they want so that you can attract and retain talent and grow? Um, answer to those wants. Look at innovative benefits so that you are competitive, you stand out from other companies so that you can attract those employees. And then utilize the technology so that you can effectively communicate that information to your employees, as well as, well as manage and ensure all of the processes. Um, in addition to salary, you know, provide that financial relief option um, for all of the reasons that Sean talked about so that you can actually retain those valuable assets once you have recruited them. And that's about it. Sean, Jody, thank you so much for being here today and presenting such a very interesting and unique topic. We really appreciate that. And thank you to all of you for being here today. Have an amazing rest of your day.